welcome back to the stream it's me jm and i know we're not in the same place we were when we last left our video we're back in valentine for a quick second and i got a bit of an explanation for that but of course let's go through all the that 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 rewind mr rewind okay now that i got myself all together and contained now if you want to go check us out live on twitch.twitch.tv slash joenigma54 Go ahead and do that and give us a follow. That way you are always notified whenever a stream goes up. And plus, if you are most likely watching this on YouTube, which my guess would be that's what most people are doing. Of course, like the video if you're loving the series as much as I am. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Any uh, constructive criticism is welcome. And yes, subscribe. Uh, ooh, don't want to head in quite that yet, but, uh, subscribe and all that. So, uh, let's, let's get to this quick. And then I'll offer the explanation as to why the hell we're not in, uh, in St. Denis right now. Yes. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Now is as good a time as any. <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even... Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was easy oh, enough. Was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Okay, boys are so silly. <laughs> They're so silly. We're waiting for you, mister. Hey. Nothing to fear at all. Now aim that over here. Oh. Yes. Oh, you're lucky. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting. Oh, for fuck's sake. You kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. Someone's going to get his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Excellent. Fine shooting. Now. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get him there. Give him an old haircut. Do I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think Good. me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep uh, bothering you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Too much. Yo, she might, she might turn into a, a freak and take them both on. But anyway, so before we go into this, um, oh, I can wait, oh, I can wait until the morning with some of this stuff. I forgot that. Anyway, so 
Let me get to the entire reason why we're in Valentine and not in um, in Saint Denis. So, um, plain and simple, uh, you might all remember a video in the past that I did where I explained how I was frustrated because um, one thing that is majorly one thing that is majorly different between uh, this game and uh, other Rockstar games such as like GTA and all that. Uh, this game doesn't have an autosave feature. So if, God forbid, I'm not thinking with both sides of my brain and I forget to save said game, then, um, yeah, then we have a bit of a problem. And apparently that's what I forgot to do. So, um, I won't lie. Um, I think I feel and sound a little bit more positive now, but earlier today when I went to do this stream, I was very much uh not in a happy mood when i found out that i had played the game for about two hours and here um it was for nothing Hello, so um yeah so we're kind of just in roads right now i'm gonna wait until the morning and uh i'm gonna try and see if i can buy a new paper from valentine because i bought a crap ton when I was insane to knee. So to me, I would figure, well, maybe one should be available here. Watch it not be, and I came up here for nothing. You boy. Yep, see, what a shock. We can't buy a paper. Oh, but we bought a bunch in San Denis, so whatever. That's one thing I should do. I bought all these papers, and I still haven't read them yet. Not like it, I guess it matters. But. So, anyway. Now that we're six or seven minutes into the video, and I've explained what the hell happened and why we're not where we originally let off, let's uh, let's get to this coach here, get a ride back to Saint Denis, and uh, you know what? We'll get there quicker by train. Uh, I'm pretty sure my horse will follow, even if I go by train. God damn, I hate it. I scared Jeff. Hello there, pleased to see you. Uh, I'd like a train ticket, sir. Uh, we're going Pleasant to the same Thank you. So, now that we got all that out of the way, let's head back to St. Denis and let's get started. On our little search for young Jack Marston. Once again, if you missed our previous episode, uh, it all went down in roads. Everything blew up in our face as I figured it may be when we try and get into the middle of volatile situations. Dutch once again Dutch being Dutch had a plan and thought we were going to be able to uh, squeeze ourselves a little bit of a victory in playing two families together and needless to say it came and bit us hard 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 right in our old stink hole. We lost Sean and we've also are, well, like I said, we're searching for Jack. Uh, according to the Braithwaite woman, she sent him with this guy. Um, I totally forget his name now. But, um, and I just replayed through all this and so I should have no excuse for not remembering the fool's name. But, uh... Oh, shit. I didn't get off on the right side. Ooh. But, um... Oh, um... Bronte? I know Bronte's part of his name. I can't remember what the first part of his name... I think Antonio Bronte or something. Something like that. We'll find out. But, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to search for Jack. And see if we can't find him. Um, I really kind of... Oh, here we go. Oh, sick. I didn't know I could do this. Although, yeah, that doesn't really do me much good, does it now? Okay. We're off to a rip-roaring start today. Oh, for God's sakes. Hurry it up, please. Well, you know what? While I'm waiting here, I might as, might as well calm my nerves, I guess. As you can see, we're growing... Quite the luscious mane of hair with Arthur here. Probably get our beard a bit trimmed up, though. We were going with a nice old mutton chop look for a while, but... It's time for you to shut your dirty-ass mouth. 
I ain't even bothering you. I got a little dick, so I feel like I gotta yell at everybody. Can you tell I'm not in the mood to put up with stupid on, stuff right now? <laughs> okay, let's let's head over. Let's see where should our first destination be. Well, if there is one right here, let's Angelo Bronte. There we go. Okay. Well, let's head over to this area. See if we can find anything. What outfit do I have on my horse? Do I have a decent one I can change into? Not the winter one. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's change it to our gambler one. It's me. Ah, just people, don't don't mind me. I'm just when gonna quickly you? switch. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, and uh, let's put our. Oh yeah, that's right. We still have our legendary bear hat. But let's. Oh no! No 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 no. Well, I don't want to swap. Well, screw that hat then. We are not losing Arthur's hat. After all we've been through. Right, I have somehow managed to keep this hat the entire ride that we've been going through this game. Not once have I lost it. I want to keep it that way. And now we get stuck behind a carriage. I would like some room so I can jettison on by. There we go. Oh, calm down. Why is it telling me to get on the other side of the road? Which would clearly be a violation of traffic laws, even without motor vehicles. Dude, I am barely even... Okay, see? Now that dude almost got run over by a train. He, he kind of has a little bit more of a right than you do. I wasn't even really that close to you. Ah, uh, you, you stay right here, Loomis. Let's go see if we can find any word on one Angelo Bronte. Stick him up, cowboy. I know that voice. Uh, yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. I'm cool like a cucumber, Dutch. Even though I ain't a... Oh, hello. Yes? Get back to your business. What you staring at? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them. I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little friends. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Hmm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Over here. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? Yo. You look like a whiskey. You could quickly take care of me instead of chatting your little shit up with your little boys here that I'm sure you socialize with on a daily. Okay? I got pressing matters here. Scott. Okay. Arthur, you got oh, well over four thousand dollars in your pocket. Well, thank you. So, Mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Duh. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? 
Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. Oh, and friend, okay. you, you'll be careful now. Immigrants not to be trusted. Uh, okay. Seems like you didn't really need to slip that in there, but I guess thanks well, for the warning. You don't see. What do you want? Come on, quick. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! What the hell? I wanted to get on my horse! What the hell? Okay. I'm. Yep. Yay! Yay! The game is going so well today. Oh my god. I mean, we. It's not like we made it that. It's not like we made it that far into the mission. Man, this... This this game in this day needs to do a 180 turn real quick. Or this is going to be one of the shortest Bronte. streams I've ever done. Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Yeah. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin yeah. hard. I'm so sorry, uh -huh. cocksucker. <sighs> I'm you sure he does. Friend. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. Oh, Thank you. Friend, you be I don't give a now. damn what you got to say. To be now, can I get on my damn horse? How are you, girl? Like I wanted the first goddamn time. Ugh, okay. Oh, my guess was Eddie's Bazaar is gonna have a big sale. Yeah, I heard it's there. Okay. Right. We'll let it go here. Uh, you don't see Loomis, you better you better be here when I come back. And you better not have people around you, because apparently when people oh, are around you, I have no idea what you. to do. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You're wonderful. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Uh, is that a kid? I guess I, it looks like one. Hey, oh, you got those are definitely kids. Snack? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, Yo. Don't let these kids ne surround you like that. Come on. This way. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Yo. Stay close. You raggedy Stay ass. Yo, Come you on. raggedy ass kid. Better not. You knew Yo, get this thing? other kid in front of me. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his Well, you need to get Cleet away from the back of me. There. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modern Yo. Famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. I asked you about Benito Angelo Christmas? Bronte. I don't no. care about your church. Here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. And yep, I knew that's exactly what was going to happen. That fellow looks angry. Yo, I'm going to whoop this kid's ass. I don't give a damn if he's underage. I will whoop your ass after the day I had. Ah! Thought I could get to it. 
Okay, I've got good stamina. I exercised. You wait till I get a hold of you. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna pull an Adrian Pe Peterson and grab the nearest branch I can off a tree. Yo, this. I'm really. I'm doing like the best job of like t of like keeping up without actually catching. Please. Please let me beat this kid's ass. I don't care anymore. After the day I had, I, I knew something like this was going to happen because this is always what happens with these kids. You knew, I knew I was going to get pickpocketed. Especially since one of them just hides right, right behind. <laughs> this vi village idiot is gonna put his village foot up your village ass. Are you hurt? What sort of trouble have you been getting into? Where? This little shit. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when. Hey, yo. A boy ran through here. I need you to tell me which way he went. He ran around the corner there. You ever heard of the word please? I did, but I'm not in the mood today. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, let me just catch this little shit already. Okay. Okay, that's it. Um, I might have to choke a bitch. Come here, little mother. Hmm. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about? I will Fred? kill all I of you. I don't give a damn. That kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Oh. Come on. You new in town, Mister? No shit. Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, I don't like assholes who steal hair. from me. He got a Especially little shitheads I like you. Proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Is it wrong that I want to take a fire bottle right now and just toss it over that gate? Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? Are these little shits even over here anymore? Oh, of course they're not. Yo. I never so badly wanted to punch a kid in the face. In a game, of course. Never in real life. But in a game, I wanted to whoop his... I would gladly whoop a kid's ass. Especially a little shithead like that. Oh, over here. You know what? Thanks, friend. Thank you. 
It's nice to give uh, see? instead of just begging. See? See? He was nice. Even though he was a quote unquote begging for only 25 cents, I gave him 25 cents and he was grateful. Little shithead ungrateful kids. Obviously didn't get their ass whooped enough as a child. Oh god, I gotta go back all this way. Can I? Aha! Morning How you doing, you. sir? Morning to you. Morning to you. You know when you have one of those days? Uh-huh. Yep. I, I too know the feeling, Arthur. I can very much sympathize with you today. Uh, this way. There we go. Good morning. Hello, ma'am. Good morning, good morning ma'am. I have to say, life is pretty good. Well, happy days. Uh, uh, Arthur, you did a, did a little bit of a 180 there from how we were really feeling. Get my horse back over here so I can talk to Dutch. This way, Arthur. Oh, there, I see you. Hey, Dutch, I'm coming. He wasn't talking to you. Your name, Arthur? Where I mean, it might been? be now that I think about it. Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of chill. Little shit. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Well, that was a quick search. Out of our three options we could have went to, we somehow managed to go to the right one the first time. I wonder if that... Yeah. I wonder if it plays out like that with the rest of the decisions. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. And far from... Real open country. Ah, uh, a bronze. We're used to those. Catch the street. Oh, so you can catch him, apparently. Oh, so we incomplete. Good morning, sir. So What's it's over goes. here. Oh, is this a fencer? Yo, if this is a fencer, I'll be super glad because then I won't have to. It is a trapper. Ooh, let's see. It's. This, I want to make sure it's the same logo as this other fella all the way up. It is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that. I love that. That means I can hopefully come here. Yes. I will do, make more of an attempt to bring my stuff over this way. Okay. Time to get back on the horse. And I know we've got the Dutch thing, but I also see I've got two stranger ones I can do here. So let's, let's do the, These stranger ones usually don't last long, so... Let's throw these into the mix here. Morning, friend. Morning. Bad. Things is bad. Things is bad. Howdy. I think so. I can see you're a fellow who ain't to be messed with. Ah. Hey. Who buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars. <laughs> Sounds glass. like he wasn't. Well, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Sounds like he wasn't. Santé. He was a little surprised that we agreed to buy him something. Ah, it's the 
quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass! I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless. Hello. I want to wipe your bottom with it, but I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Thank you, Jack. Maybe you should pay give me more of your French girls. Well, this will definitely, yep, that'll get us, uh... <laughs> Good thing we're not monetized on this channel. Okay. Well. And if anyone wonders why we no longer stream on Twitch after this broadcast, y'all will know why. We all know how Twitch gets. How will I treat you? Shitty. But thank you for asking while I ride by on my horse. Okay. Now, where ah, do me, I get to? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Startled me there a little. Yes, sir. I what? thought you looked oh. nice. Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. Why not? I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna uh -huh. come pretty cheap. Please, friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cars. Well, if anyone knows okay. who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Well, I'd say the heat is a little, uh... The heat's still a little hot in Rhodes from the last time we went there, so, uh... Let's, uh... We'll come back to that in a later episode. Maybe later in this one, depending on how long I feel like streaming. Oh, no. I still cannot find my other shoe. We don't want to be downwind of him. What's going on now? Got something to say? Maybe he doesn't know who we are, huh? Whoa, all right. 
Just passing on through. Go on, then. Well, see, you boys need to learn some respect. You know what? Time for some fun. Oh yeah? Come on. That is something else. What? What? Yo, they're fighting me. Ow! What the fuck? Ow! Okay. Fuck you. And fuck you. What was all that? My God, like that was <laughs> like that escalated like it shouldn't have. Well, at least there's a lot of places I can run and escape in here. Like what the hell? So like they attack me. Once again, Red Dead logic. They attack me. I'm the one who gets yelled at. And then when they make a move even more on me, I'm the one who get or. When the cops shoot at me for absolutely no reason, then they shoot at me. What the f... I don't... What happened to him? Excuse me. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma Yo! Cuidado. Get this bitch out of my way! Jesus, if she would've just let me by, I wouldn't have had to shove her fat ass on the ground. <gasps> what?! What is that?! Oh, what a crock of shit. Okay, Red Dead. This, this is gonna be one of these days. No! You stupid! Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus! No! Get down, Arthur! Oh my god. This ain't cool. I had him totally beat. They had no idea where I was, and then all of a sudden, like two just spawned in front of me. That was that was some GTA shit, if I've ever seen. It. Yo, no, 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 no. What is this sh- I'm Dude, shut up. Shut your mouth. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, trespass. Ah, fuck off. Shut your mouth. Y'all minded your own damn business. None of this would have happened. Now look. Now I'm not on anyone's property. Cocksuckers. And if, one of, if any of my streams were going to be mature because of my language. You don't do this? Of course. Ugh. Okay. Now, let's go see Dutch. Good lord. Let, let me guess, is my horse out of range? Oh wow, my horse isn't out of range. I'm, ag I'm actually pretty surprised at that. All that running, my fat ass needs some pineapples. And besides just pineapple, uh, you know what? Pineapple, salted venison, that'll do good. And when my horse gets here, I can have a nice little carrot. Okay, my good. Hello, Loomis. Actually. 
Yeah. I give you cakes all the time. There you go. There you go. Hello there. You know what? You all can right, use girl. a bit of a brush. Okay. Oh, good. Dutch is right here. Somehow all that rigmarole and all that actually kind of lended itself in a positive light. Because at least we ran our ass right to where we needed to go. Uh, yeah, if it's, uh... There we go. That should have... Well, if it was going to give me that right away, it should have given me that before I hopped off. My host. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Well, uh... Don't worry, boys. I mean... We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I mean, you probably could have handled it a little better, but... Are those assholes the ones that I ran into in the, uh... Alleyway there? <laughs> they... Chi sono sti buffoni? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Okay, I wasn't sure how that was going to turn mine. out. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> My friend have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> mm. 
But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us? For 